in previous session we had discussed four types of operating system under which we had discussed batch operating system interactive operating system and multi programming operating system so today we will be continuing with the discussion of multi programming multi tasking operating system so as we know multi programming operating system kya hote hai jahan hum multiple programs simultaneously chala sakte hain aur wo kaise chalte hain jab operating system efficiently resource allocations karta hai जिस प्रोसेस को चलने के लिए सीपीयू की जरूरत है उनको सीपीयू प्रोवाइड किया जाए ऑल्टरनेटिवली दूसरे जो प्रोसेस है जिनको मे बी मेमोरी चाहिए या इनपुट आउटपुट इंटरक्शन चाहिए या जिनको मे बी प्रिंटर चाहिए सो इस तरह से सारे रिसोर्सेज डिस्ट्रीब्यूट कर देता है और हमें इस तरह लगता है कि सारे प्रोसेसिंग पैनल ही हो रही है सो दिस इज टर्म एज य कंसेप्ट ऑफ मल्टी प्रोग्रामिंग and if we talk about multitasking operating system multitasking operating system is allowing a user to perform more than one computer task at one time right so it is again the concept of multi programming operating system and the operating system is able to keep track of where you are in these tasks and from where you go from one to another without losing the information so it keeps on switching your cpus operating system keeps on switching the cpu from one task to another and it elucify the user as if they are performing all the task at one time aur ye jo switching hoti hai ye bahut hi kam time span mein hoti hai in millisecond aur wo delay jo hai wo users ko nahi pata chalta तो इसीलिए ही आज के जितने भी सिस्टम्स हैं, वी कैन परफॉर्म मल्टीपल टास्क एट वंस वी कैन परफॉर्म मे बी यू आर क्रिएटिंग योर वर्ड डॉक्यूमेंट और मे बी यू आर क्रिएटिंग द पीपीटीज एंड एट द सेम टाइम यू आर सेंडिंग सम मेल टू योर कलीग और फेलो मेट और यू आर ब्राउजिंग और योर एंटी वायरस इज इन प्रोग्रेस इट इज डिटेक्टिंग एंड स्कैनिंग योर सिस्टम एंड so maybe simultaneously you are listening to music as well so this way multiple tasks can be performed at one time right so when you open your web browser and then maybe open word at the same time you are causing the operating system to do multiple task so multitasking means performing multiple task in parallel and usually cpu processes only one task at a time but the switching of cpu between the processes is so fast that it looks like cpu is executing multiple processes at a time so this way you can listen to your songs you can play games as well you can create the uh, microsoft uh, word document or ppt you can work simultaneously on the excel as well and uh, maybe you are chatting also so this way you can use multiple applications multiple you can work over multiple softwares at the same time so next we have is multi processing operating system so uh, guys it is again the concept of multi programming it also allows multiple task to uh, execute at once but when we are talking about uh, multi processing it sometimes refer to executing multiple processes or maybe the programs at the same time and this is this can be confusing uh, with multi programming or multi tasking but when we are talking about multi processing it actually refers to multiple cpus when we are performing certain task over a system which is equipped with multiple cpus multiple processors so with the help of multiple processors we can definitely perform multiple task at the same time
so we can say if the hardware provides more than one processor then that is multi processing we have multiple processors to execute our task parallelly at the same time and there are many variations on the basic scheme for example having multiple cores on one die or multiple dies in one package or multiple packages in one system so you must have uh, heard about cores of your processors we have dual to core and core dual processor so you can opt for any and maybe there is the same disk equipped with multiple core processors or we have full fledged multiple cpus multiple processors in our system which are been attached to the system so uh, in a while like a uh, multi programming uh, we can say it is simply a software that somehow manages to perform multiple tasks and elucify the user that the tasks are performing at the same time so when we are talking about multi processor there are uh, two types of systems two types of multi processor systems we have that is we have symmetric multi processing and asymmetric multi processing so when we are talking about symmetric multi processing in symmetric multi processing there are number of homogeneous processors that are running inside your system which is affecting other programs so each processor share a single copy of operating system the operating system is same we have one program which actually manages the task and it will look after the processes that are coming and they are residing in the waiting queue so jo bhi process aayega execute hone ke liye waiting queue mein operating system check karega kaun sa cpu available hai agar cpu 1 available hai to usko wo provide kar diya jayega agar cpu 2 available hai to wo provide kar diya jayega so actual tracking and recording will be done by one single program of operating system and each processor shares the single copy of the operating system and in this all processors are at same level right we are not prioritizing we are not uh, uh, organizing the processors in any hierarchical structure so there is no master slave relationship between the processors it is easier to implement in an operating system so uh, it is implemented this particular scenario of symmetric multi processing is been implemented in windows nt 12 netware 2.1 and many more and on the contrary when we talk about asymmetric multi processing here all the processors are not same there is one master processor and others are act as slave so there is one head you can say one is, one is the main operate a main processor who instructs the other processor who helps us to route our pro processes to other cpus and allocations is done by one main processor so there is a concept of master and slave which is been implemented and it gives the instruction to the slaves processor to execute the processes so in this each processor has its own main memory space and it is uh, a bit complicated and difficult to implement still there are certain advantages of multi processor over other multi programming schemes multi processor system is quite cheaper then the multiple single processor systems it is less 
cost effective right so it it uh, when we are talking about multi processor systems if one processor fails it also has no effect on whole system because uh, supposingly if we we have two cpus in our system cpu 1 and cpu 2 and if cpu 1 have failed it have been crashed so all the tasks which are which were routed to cpu 1 would be rerouted to cpu 2 so uh, we have a backup with cpu 2 so ultimately our system will not crash our system will not hold apart from that maybe uh, the user may face some delays because cpu 2 got overloaded and uh, in multi processor system response time is less due to increased number of processes and the users definitely uh, do not have to face any kind of delay because there are multiple processes to enter in the processes and in multi processor system throughput increase because number of processor is increased definitely productivity will goes high because we have n number of cpus which are been attached to our system and definitely at same unit of time we can execute more processes as compared to if our system is equipped with only one cpu so moving ahead the next type of operating system we have is multi threading operating system so when we are talking about threads what actually threads are your whole program is a set of threads aapka jo pura program hai jab bhi wo execution mein jata hai usko hum process bolte hain us process mein jo uske sab programs hai सब प्रोसेसेस हैं इंडिपेंडेंट प्रोसेसेस हैं जो एग्जीक्यूट हो रही हैं उनको हम थ्रेड्स बोलते हैं ठीक है सो मल्टी थ्रेडिंग ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम क्या करता है कि एक ही टाइम पे एक ही प्रोग्राम के मल्टीपल थ्रेड्स को एग्जीक्यूट करवाने में हेल्प करता है हम एक ही टाइम पे मल्टीपल थ्रेड्स एग्जीक्यूट कर सकते हैं और इससे अल्टीमेटली आपका जो पूरा का पूरा प्रोसेस है वो कम टाइम में अपनी एग्जीक्यूशन कंप्लीट कर लेता है सो वी कैन से मल्टी थ्रेडिंग एक्सटेंड द आइडिया ऑफ मल्टी टास्किंग इन टू एप्लीकेशन सो वी कैन सब डिवाइड स्पेसिफिक ऑपरेशन विद इन सिंगल एप्लीकेशन इन टू इंडिविजुअल थ्रेड्स ईच ऑफ विच कैन theoretically run in parallel then the operating system can divide processing time not only among different applications but also among each thread within an application a multitasking system can have multi threaded processes where different processes share the cpu the same cpu at the same time each has its own thread so the question is why we need to have multiple threads of execution within a single process context why we need to have so suppose that you have a graphical user interface application where you want to issue a command that require long time to finish the task uh, let's uh, take a uh, example a complex mathematical computation right we have a equation to solve which is quite complicated so what we will do we will divide it into sub equations right and we integrate all the results and formulate the end result unless you run this command in a separate execution the thread you will not be able to interact within the main application user interface for example updating a progress bar may be uh, because it is going to be freezed and not responding while the calculation is taking place 
so multi threading is a smart way to write concurrent software but it also comes with the price because the programmer has to be aware of race conditions when two or more threads try to access a shared resource and leave the system in an inconsistent state or a deadlock so we have to be careful for deadlocks deadlocks is a very uh, crucial concept of operating system and very important that we will discuss very much in detail in our uh, upcoming sessions so what actually the concept is all about we simply break the whole process into sub processes and try to execute these sub processes parallelly and integrate the result and accomplish uh, the task to perform within a minimum span of time so this is all about multi threading operating system right so next we have is multi user operating system जैसे मल्टी प्रोसेसिंग ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम में हमारे पास एक ही सिस्टम के साथ मल्टीपल सीपीयूज अटैच थे और हम इंस्ट्रक्शंस देते थे उनको और प्रोसेसेस रूट अप करते थे एग्जीक्यूट करने के लिए इसी तरह ही मल्टी यूजर ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम में हमारे पास मल्टीपल यूजर्स होते हैं जो एक ही सीपीयू एक ही सिस्टम पे काम करते हैं और एग्जीक्यूशन अपनी टास्क जो है वो पैरली एग्जीक्यूट करते हैं so a multi user operating system allow many different users to take advantage of computer's resources simultaneously the operating system must make sure that the requirements of the various users are balanced and that each of the program they are using has sufficient and separate resources so that a problem with one user doesn't affect the entire community of the users so it is important to differentiate between multi user operating system single user operating system that uh, support networking so here definitely we need to have networking concept as well so that all the users can integrate and they can interact with the main server or main computer system so students this is all about multi programming concept under which we have discussed multitasking multi processing multi users and multi threading concepts right so we are left with real time operating system networking operating system and distributed operating system that we will discuss in our next session so as if now if anyone wants to ask anything please go ahead and ask